Athletic facilities are getting bigger and crazier every year. 10 to 20 to even $50 million D1 facilities. College athletics is at an all-time high. But what if I told you we've never seen a lacrosse-only facility until now? Clemson has entered the chat. Brand new $20 million lacrosse-only facility. The nicest locker room in America. A stadium overlooking the lake. Every amenity you could ask for. Also, we got a door of Clemson football facilities. When you come to Clemson, you have the best facilities. The best teammates. The best coaches. The best water. water. The carpet cleans up the mess. You think she has no angle right here to get to cage, but she fights her way down the fan of the eight meter. Getting the Tigers on the map. One zero. the first ever lacrosse only facility at Clemson University. I'm here with... What's up guys, it's Ella Little, number one senior midfielder from Baltimore, Maryland. We're about to take you guys through the first ever girls lacrosse only facility. Let's do it. Woo! This is where it all starts, the lobby. We're coming over here, we got the swag over here. Oh yeah. Sponsored by STX and Nike. It's the best sponsors in the game. Can't complain, these are all the shoes that we have and these are all the different colors of our stick. What stick you're rocking? White head, orange shaft. Favorite jersey combo from L. We only wear the purple jersey once a season for one like specialty game, so that's gonna be my favorite. And we look really tan in the purple, which is why I'm wearing it right now. Home games, away games, specialty games. What's it like being able to walk into a $19 million facility every day? It's really incredible. You know, we pinch ourselves every day. We talk about how incredible it is that we're in a facility like this, you know, for us, it's the experience of the players, like being able to have all of these incredible things that just only amplify, you know, what they're able to do on the field. But it's really nice to be able to, to be in my office, you know, talking about something and then walking right out to the field or going into the film room and doing film. But it is really incredible. I love when people come to the building and, you know, being able to show it off to everybody. It's really amazing. The Tigers are hard to practice within their second year as a program, but the nicest facility in the country. What do the Tigers have to prove? What's the biggest difference between last year and this year? Basically, last year we came in, nobody knew each other, and we were starting from ground zero. So a huge difference for this year was just having like half of that team be returners and then yeah. half new. Having this facility just makes it so much easier for us to be together. It's like our second home. Like we probably spend more time here than we do in our own apartments and houses. So. The nicest lacrosse facility in America, but how are the Lady Tigers living at home? MTV, what's going on? My name is Shannon Brazier. I'm a graduate student from Long Island, and welcome to our crib. That was the best ever on my channel. Yes, you're just, yeah. are you just saying that? No, I'm serious. <laughs> the first thing I noticed, festive. Yes. Why so festive? We love to celebrate every holiday. Um, what's your favorite holiday? Personally, I'm gonna go St. Patrick's Day for my friend over there. Why is that? You're Italian, I'm Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You get the kitchen over here. It's most of the cooking in the house. Honestly, like none of us, but she is no. a really good cook. You're I'm a cook. really yeah. bad cook. No, what do you cook for dinner? Dino nuggets and <laughs> mac and cheese or rice. Let's say one of the girls is cooking in here. Who's the worst at doing dishes? Call me. I'm gonna say Katie's pretty bad. She's not here what? right now, but I'm like, leave it there for a few days. And then she'll like go and grind it. But okay. And then what do we got in the fridge? What do we got in the fridge? A lot of leftovers. Girls got cookies to guac to fruits, vegetables. What about the freezer? Whoa! <laughs> we love Jesus. our sweet treats. My name's Emma Tillison. The team calls me Tilly. I'm number 25, and a fun fact mm -hmm. is. Number that... 25? Yeah. That was my number. Really? Oh, it was a good number. Good number. Let's go. Fun fact. I I'm an ordained minister, so I can like marry people. <laughs> Don't call me. Yeah, <laughs> I am Claire. I'm a grad student. I'm from Forest Hill, Maryland. I'm Demma Hall. I'm from Sykesville, Maryland. I have a really long tongue. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll curve it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so fun. Her tongue was my longest tongue I've ever seen in my entire life. Is that something she was born with, or can you guys give a little dialogue there? I don't think tongue transplant, so like, I think she was born with yeah. Mine's like, oh, hit the frog. People are gonna yeah. say in the streets, like, yo, flash the tongue. She's like, stick it straight, like, she like, curves Yeah, it's her. at the end, oh my God, I was like, what? But you know how, like, the evolution of giraffes, like, they kept reaching up in those trees for food? Like, the more she sticks it out, it's probably grown yeah. over oh, the course of her life. Ah, oh, I like it, gritty. Girls from Maryland. Wait.
Uh, it's just another Tiger Town uh, amenity. We hopped off the bus and we're here at Y Beach. Y Beach. What's Y Beach? It's where all of the students go to lay out by the lake. You can lay out in the hammock, get a nice computer break. Why did you choose Clemson? The spirit and the community. It's really what drove me here. Everyone was diehard Clemson and that was something I was looking for in a school. Why did you decide to come to Clemson? I babysat for two people that went here and they told me that I should come visit and I fell in love. Loved my tour here and I could tell all the students and alumni just had a passion for Clemson that I wanted to be a part of. Awesome. Who am I here with? Connor Bossy. Have you been any women's lacrosse games? I have not. Bad answer. Actually, yes, the Louisville game last year. Oh. Yeah. No. Are you planning on it? It's on the bucket list. Not yet. <laughs> Why not? I don't know when the season starts. When does it start? <laughs> it started already. I really do want to go to one. I have to try. Yeah. Have you been to a game yet? I have. What do you think? I thought it was great, and I can't wait to go to the next one. I have not, but I look forward to going to one. Oh, good answer. Have you ever watched a women's lacrosse game ever? I don't even know how to play lacrosse. Actually, I played lacrosse in eighth grade once, and I quit two days later because I couldn't catch a ball. That's very fair. That's very fair. Have you ever been to a Clemson women's lacrosse? Game. I have not. I haven't, but I really want to come to a game. I'm going to go to the Syracuse game. Ooh, it's a big one. It is a big one. I don't have the schedule. If you get her number, she can text it to you. Baby. Okay. okay man. Go Tigers, baby. Women's lacrosse. <laughs> can we hit the frog? What is that? <laughs> She's too cool for school, I feel like. Do you know how to hit the frog? <laughs> Great job. Do you know what the frog is? I do not. It, it's just... Hit the frog with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he knew it. Yeah, I know. You Come on. <laughs> So I'm sure a lot of you guys saw Demo's magic trick. It's kind of like Guinness World Record. Yeah, thing. no, exactly. So I have a picture. You guys in the background. <laughs> Watch right now. Yeah. We ever get any Mitch Pelton YouTube on here. all the time, right, guys? No, literally all the time. Yeah, like actually. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bing bong. Your room's down here. Yeah, this is my Let's room. Check it out. Well, this. I mean, when I was a freshman and I'm now a six year, so a, like. Can we get a no, close up on the basketball? <laughs> it just followed me all the way through. No, that's good. Well, you kind of want to see the clock. No, like. <laughs> I kind of want to see that. That's, oh. that's it now. <laughs> and then obviously a flag for my old school. Cornell, shout out Cornell. Hey, what is yeah. that, a twin? This looks No, small. it's a queen. What are you hey, talking this is about? a queen? Yeah. This is nice. I like this a lot. Yeah. Whose room we got next? It seems like it's the nicest room. Really? Yeah. Thanks. A lot of stuffed animals. A lot of stuffed animals. Girl that has stuffed animals. Is that it, Nick? No, well listen, I'm about so. to share. So my boyfriend and I have sloths. So he has the brown sloth and what I have this play? sloth. Baseball. Where are your stuffed animals? Hit it in the closet. Is that really? Go <laughs> back you better bring yeah, that stuffed animal part. This is Fred, he's also a sloth. This is Franklin, and her name is Noah. And then we got this big rip. Chris gave me this for Valentine's Day last year, so this is Benji. Benji the Italian, and also we've heard that you are a huge Fortnite. I'm not the best, but I do have fun playing with my friends. Just got this at five below. Like you can hear me yelling in the kitchen. Like oh, last room. Very, Read it. Very. <laughs>
just this team. And we have our lacrosse only tubs over here. We got hot and cold, I'm guessing. I know they look really cool, but the cold tub, not for me. I forgot to show you guys my favorite part. Cleat shoe dryer, Whoa. okay? All you do, take your cleats off. These are all blowing air. They're like little mini hair dryers. Boop. Film room. Let's do it. What's film session like in here? You know, this is when we become students of the game. Very mm. important mm. piece. I don't want to jinx it, but basically every film session so far, Allison has brought Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Hoping that trend continues throughout the season. Seniors like to take top row. Freshmen are usually closer to the front. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy the play there. Um, yesterday was a warm day, and it wasn't something to throw off, you know, obviously the camera or any of the stuff. And I went online, and the only appointment was yesterday. I was questioning. Doing this for the kids. <laughs> no, no. I got a tight schedule, so it's like, boom, go do that, and then off and go to the kids' activities. Yeah. So, got it done. What are our thoughts on Bill's mustache? It just takes a little bit of time adjusting because it's like a different person in front of you. But it goes from the beard to the mustache when it gets warmer out. He had the mustache last year when their family, we went to Boo in the zoo, so it was like a whole thing. And the Olens were Super Mario characters, okay. and Bill was Mario, and he got the mustache so like, like to be point. Mario. the beard, he has the mustache. What are our initial thoughts? Mario. <laughs> Luigi, maybe. Mario. Mario. Mario's Mario. You're obviously one of the only males part of the staff. Yeah. Obviously on a, a girls across team. What's that like? It's unbelievable, to be honest. I love coaching our women. Just in terms of like the coachability, how they make you laugh. They don't take themselves too too seriously, we can be able to joke out there. I think it's nice to have different perspectives. Me coming from the men's side and then coming here and obviously working with people who have been at the top of the game on the women's side with Allie being Team USA, Madison being a multiple All-American, and Marina being able to start at all the programs she's been at, it's been really great. It's your favorite spot. I love it in here. First of all, the lighting, I mean, come on. Who's leading us out? Who's in the back? What's the order? Seniors in the front, mostly. I think it's like captains in the front. And I think we have two more captains that anchor us, so it's like front and back. And then everyone's just kind of like filtering just in with their chilling. walkout bus. What, what yeah. is L like pre -game? I think the biggest thing I would do is just kind of like approach someone <laughs> and like, <laughs> just like get up in there. <laughs> I love that. Before we go out to the field, we gotta hit the lobby. I guess it could serve as multi-purposes. What's up, this guys? This is nice. Hanging out or studying, be honest. So we're doing work, are we chilling? Yeah, just, just chilling. What's it like being on a team that is making history? <laughs> I mean, it's really exciting because everything's really new and everyone's just coming together as one. Well we're very good with the team. Other. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Crush look at it. That. we come over here? Do we, we call us like the kitchen? We got snacks galore. Oh yeah. So we got some snacks here. I love the ice machine. Oh, look that. at that. I this also is love nice. the espresso. Favorite snack, what is it? I like these and I like beef stick, beef the chicken stick. ones. Yeah, these are huge for me. That's you need a breath mint after or a toothbrush. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, this is stacked. Big on the apple slices, big on the protein shakes, I'm into the core power. And then the best is if we have like pre-game meal, then there will be a bunch of leftover food. Like that's just okay. fruit and grilled chicken. So. Is that something over there or what's that? Well, that's the ARC. That's the Athletic Recovery Center. Okay. That's literally sick. It's like a playground for student athletes. So. Really? Oh, yeah. The Athletic Recovery Center, in my opinion, the facility that sets Clemson at the top. Six massage chairs, an area to do yoga, a red light bed, and sensory deprivation tank. But how do they feel physically? I feel amazing okay. because of the ARC. <laughs> Look at that. What are we working on over here? NIL. Oh! oh. Forever changing era. So over here we have the red light therapy. It's kind of like a tanning bed, but better. And then if we come around here, we have just a typical massage chair. Yes, sir. We have the sleeping pods in here. Kind of nerve wracking. Try <laughs> <laughs> to hop in. The means you get a <laughs> wet float. Sensory deprivation tank. 1,200 pounds of Epsom salt. And what are the benefits? Epsom salt, as we know, is going to really assist in mm. muscle recovery, yeah. but this content level of it is gonna make you float. Puts you in spatial gravity, which is going to essentially allow your whole body to relax. There's a float ring. Your head weighs a little bit more. Mm. So it allows your head to get wow. into a comfortable yeah. position. Oops. Wait, wow. I'm saying big... tiger. They're breaking <laughs> science here. That in South Carolina. This wrapped up basically the whole facility. We have the fuel zone. What do we call this place? Recovery, the recovery zone. zone. That's our go to. What do you get to do? Can't turn down the smoothie. You gotta get behind the bar here. Thanks. I'm Kate. I'm a sports nutrition intern. I'm gonna taste test. <laughs> Pretty good. A 9.4 out of 10. I think I'm gonna give it actually a 10 out of 10. We're not even at like a tropical smoothie or anything. You don't need tropical smoothie. smoothie when you have one right yeah. here. Yeah. I love that. 
How tough has it been to form a team top down uh, full of transfers? We hit the ground on week two probably on the field, but first priority is like, how are we going to become a family as quickly as possible? And so all of that is just what we do off the field. And like some of it is facilitated by Allison and some of it by us. And that's definitely like top of the priority list for sure. Well, I feel like Allie likes to bring people in with different personalities. And I think that's just a really cool thing because you see it come together. And I think it's just a really, really good mix. And it just takes all kinds like to make a really good unit. Mm -hmm. So it's a great group and they do keep us laughing every day while working yeah. hard, so it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's a good mix. There's nothing like a good locker room. Yeah. <laughs> this, oh my God, this is sick. This would be me. Sticks here, obviously we have our little stick holder. Yeah. This is like the main Whoa. cat. Oh, you today. got a sweet tooth. Obviously. Got the shower caddy, jerseys, catapult, towels that they give us. It's all about the details. details. You know? It's the details. Yeah. Got the drawer. The less adorable part would be the shoe area. Who's the swaggiest girl on the team? Hannah Hillcoff. She's just always fitted out in like the Nike sets. Up here, film binder, and then of course, find espresso pods for the coffee. Which is one of our favorite parts, okay? We were all asked to send in a picture of us playing as a child and we had no idea why. Then they made this wall. So like, we're playing not only for the younger version of ourselves, but we're also playing for all of the young cross players to come, you know? Where's, where's number one? Right here, baby, taking the draw, it's perfect. And we're walking out of here to go to the games. Everyone gives a little love tap. I love that. We got the bathroom. The bathroom. This is our little beauty This is the little, whoa. Why don't we end up by the laundry chute? Oh, look at this. No other Division One lacrosse team has that. You just throw it in here, and then it'll end up on your locker. And that's how we day. do it. And that's what it's like being a Clemson Tiger. How would a recruit not want to be a Clemson Tiger? They have the facilities, great education, the weather, the beach, the food. It's a no-brainer. Um, you know, the environment here, even though it's a newer program and we're in year two, our stands are packed. There's people lining up at the gate, waiting for the gates to open an hour before the game just to get in. So you've got such a great atmosphere here too. All right, so we're headed out to the main event, the field. This is field's elite stick skills where it starts for guys and girls. How true is that? The truest thing in the entire world. If you don't have stick skills, you have nothing. Yes, <laughs> like, I like you that. You can't no. do anything. No. We did five draws. How many would I win? Zero. Were you a face-off guy? I was not. Still would have been zero. <laughs> <laughs> What's a game atmosphere like here for the Tigers? The stands are always full. There are just so many Clemson Athletic fans that these stands are packed every single game day. It's about 1,500. Yes. That's crazy, folks. It's also kind of nice that we have a smaller stadium yeah. because it's always cooler. You know, yeah, like Ohio yeah. State, you're probably playing in what? How many people? 1,500. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. What? Do you want to do my pregame routine with me? Yeah, what is okay. it? Uh oh, we're running. I just come out here, hour 45 before the game. You just lay down. Just lay down? Yep. Oh! The Italian skin is getting tan and it's 80 degrees in March. That's it. I like that. You guys are breaking ground on obviously the school here, but obviously the complex you guys are building. So it's kudos to you and, and you're building that. You're part of the first squad. Team one was inaugural season team two first time on our home turf it's sick we're walking into the neary facility which is the football stadium plus the dining hall plus study hall plus tutoring who am i here with <laughs> you're a church she's my roommate why didn't you do the dishes i did do the dishes straight line what's it like living with a lacrosse player it's amazing sometimes i'll stink you but that's so not true i left my cleats in the apartment one time have you been to a lacrosse game yes i have and you're gonna go the rest right obviously good answer who am i here with oh, man. what sports do you play here football how's the clemson team well, in this year. Solid. I mean, Solid. Really good. Yeah. I actually used to be a lacrosse player. I was a big time lacrosse player. Oh, okay. Uh, we're here with Keith Adams Jr. All right, we're going to ask you a couple questions about lacrosse. Uh, you know a lot of positions? Midi, yeah. right? Goalie, sin. No, 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 no. Attack. 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 Defense. 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 Oh. From the best in lacrosse to the best in football, let me take you guys through Clemson's $55 million football facility. Inside, you will find a bowling alley, arcade machines, ping pong, golf simulator, a barbershop, and a slide. What's up, guys? Welcome here. Here at Allen Reeves Football Facility. I'm Keith Adams Jr. and here with my good friends. I'm about to take you on a tour of the Clemson Football Facility. Okay, this is our 2019 National Championship Trophy against Alabama. There's the other one right there, also against Alabama. We have a big tiger here. So this is all made of tires. And then here's our away jersey. Five. That was mine. And, uh, favorite cleats. I go with these right here. Here are our All Americans right here. Uh, this is my dad right here. These are all our ACC championships that we recently won. All our wins against South Carolina. That's our rival. You like that team? No, I do not like South Carolina. Here's our barbershop right here. Here's our golf simulator. Uh-oh. <laughs> We got ping pong, shuffleboarding, pool. We got a little motorcycle game over here. Basketball. Here are our water massage chairs. Oh, they're getting snacks and slushies and stuff. They're Gatorade slushies. So this is where we usually get our food and everything. So this is our recovery room and our training room. It's the coolest part of the facility right here. We got our regular massage chairs. We got our massages on these massage tables over here. We got cryotherapy. Here's a hyperbaric chamber. This helps get oxygen to your brain faster. Let's come upstairs. Wide receiver room over here. Offensive lineman room over here. 
here. Quarterbacks, tight ends, running backs. This is my room right here. I'm being coached by CJ Spiller. Like that's one of the best running backs ever. So it's pretty awesome. Here are all of our past Clemson football players under Coach Sweeney who went to the NFL. T. Higgins, Trevor Lawrence, Andrew Boo, Miles Murphy, Brian Brzee, all these people. Here's our team meeting room. All these seats fits all of us. I'm about to go down the slide. You guys push me. Okay. Woo all right, let's go. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna wrap up the day with the best ice cream in South Carolina. Can I do a small monkey business? If it's on him, I'll take a pint. Uh, <laughs> I'll do a small watermelon ice, please. Can I please have a small monkey business in a cone, please? Wait, can I do a cone? Actually? Yeah, do a cone. Yeah, yeah. Cone better. Cone. We're always get the cones. Can I do a small monkey business please? In a cone. I'll do oh dough in a cup. Thank you so much. First for one that. for frogs. <laughs> what do you rate it? 10 out of 10. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Monkey business for the frog squad? <laughs> yes, sir. <Next> Cheers. <laughs> hey, for the frog squad? Here you go, brother. The lightning, here we go. Of course. Oh, <laughs> oh. Cheers. Wow. So walk us through. How's the first couple months been on the scene? It's been crazy. We're really lucky. It's nice to be at the facility. Spend a lot of more time with the team. I'm loving it so far. Love Very it. special group. Yeah. The girls trash talk on the field or no? Some. I like to try but like, I don't think like you're gonna go home and cry, but like you're running and I'm like, oh, three, you're slow. Like, that type of thing. When you commit to a college, everyone always tells you that you need to find a place that you can see yourself in if anything bad happens to you, if you get injured, or like worst case scenario. And I can say hands down that if I lost both my legs and never walk again, I would Me, be still me. insanely happy and so honored to be a part of this team. And this has been the best decision I've ever made. So, I like that. Go time. Tigers. Go Lady Tigers. Go Lady Tigers. <laughs> I felt like I kind of started like referring to the team as like the Lady Tigers. Did we like it or no? <laughs> no, no. We, just we, like no we just really? like the Tigers. We just like the Tigers. We just like the Tigers. You can, you, you can say it if you want. You can make it a thing if you want, or maybe people will pick up on it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we are the Tigers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are, definitely. Where will this program be in five years? I think a national contender. We want to be in a part where you're talking about the Blue Bloods and Clemson's up there as one that's like, yeah, they are a threat to win it this year. We have the foundation here. We have the recruits coming. In. We have the people on campus that can kind of make that a reality. Final four, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I hope that we are trying to add seating onto the stadium because we're like <laughs> yeah. so selling, out. selling out everything. I think we're continuing to compete and continuing to just push in the ACC and play in the May and just have that culture established. My goal is for this program to be nationally ranked and doing that consistently. I think for ourselves, again, it's just our eyes are you know on doing what we need to be doing every day to be in postseason play competing not only you know in the top of the ACC but you know nationally too